This Emerson video will guide you through the process of sizing an 8800 vortex meter using toolkit. For this, you will need a computer or laptop and a list of your process specifications. First, open toolkit by going to the start menu, all programs, toolkit quote, and then selecting instrument toolkit. Next, you'll be prompted to start a new project, open an existing one, or go right to Toolkit's main menu. For this tutorial, we'll select New Project. When the New Project window appears, name your project and click OK. To begin, a new tag must be created. To do this, you can either double-click on one of the size tags labeled Pressure, Flow, Temperature, Level, and Density in the upper left corner, or simply click the Tag button right above that. From this screen, under Application, choose Flow, and then for device specification, select Vortex Flow Meter. Click OK to continue. A new window is now displayed asking for an application tag number and what kind of fluid the process is running on. Name the tag accordingly and select a process fluid type and name. A process fluid can be selected from the large database under the Pick One drop-down bar, or you can enter in a working fluid that is not in the database. For this example, we will select Water from the drop-down menu. Next, enter the Vortex model type, 8800. Note that in Toolkit, any user input box labeled with the color yellow must be completed in order to proceed to the next screen. After selecting the process, variables must be entered. This window will prompt you for flow rate minimums and maximums, along with the desired units, the normal operating process pressure and temperature with desired unit selection, and the atmospheric pressure with appropriate units. Note that if you're running a unique process that was not specified within the database, the density, viscosity, and vapor pressure will also be required as an input. After defining the process variables, a list of results is displayed showing meters that work with your process, along with all of the measured and accurate flow results for each line size. At the top are the different sizes that can be used. A green yes will be displayed under the different sizes if the meter is acceptable. A magenta low range allows for use, but flow range repeatability and turndown will not be at their full potential. And a red no means not acceptable for use. Select the meter you would like to use for your process based on the feedback. If more feedback is desired, such as nominal, measurable, and accurate velocities for each line size, check show detailed sizing results. At the bottom of the screen, select Piping and Schedule to specify the desired line size. This will manually configure the pipe ID. Selecting the appropriate meter from the results window generates a model number. This model number needs to be specified by selecting a variety of parameters and component choices. For example, you may need to select the meter style, line size, wetted materials, flange and alignment, sensor temperature and range, conduit housing, output, and calibration. Note that selections colored black are standard selections, selections in brown are expanded, and selections in blue are special selections. Things such as product certifications, multivariable option, display type, remote electronics, transient protections, alarm modes, and many other special types of selections can be chosen if needed. When sizing selections are complete, specification sheets, configuration data, calculation sheets, and accuracy reports can all be viewed by clicking on the desired report and clicking Add. To obtain a full and complete model number, highlight the configuration data sheet and click the Edit button. A measurement verification window appears, prompting you to choose what type of measurement units you would like this report in. Select the desired units and click Next two times, and then click Finish on the third screen. An Excel datasheet will load and open automatically, displaying the report. 
If a prompt appears directing you to close out of Excel first, do so or double-click the Microsoft Excel button on the bottom toolbar to override this prompt. A full built model number is at the top of the sheet, along with other data such as process information, basic, and advanced options. To print this, simply highlight the report and hit the Print or Print Setup button. Other reports such as the accuracy, specification, and calculation details can be viewed and printed in the same manner. Once you have all the information needed, hit the Finish button. This will bring you back to the main toolkit user screen showing the tag you just created. Additional sizings can be done by creating new tags. This concludes the sizing of the 8800 Vortex using Toolkit.